up, folks, and welcome to He For Good CV. Now, there's an awesome lineup in store for you all today. So kick back, eat some cereal, and let's get this on. First things first, we got yogurt. I can't get it straight. <laughs> we got yogurt. I was in Bueller's, the grocery store around here, and I saw that Silk had oat milk yogurt. Oh, yeah. And, uh, heck yeah, we are going to try this today. I have tried the oat milk, like the actual oat milk, and I thought it was pretty good. So I'm like, yeah, maybe oat milk yogurt will taste pretty good as well. I'm hoping, because to me, Either the Chobani brand, uh, dairy-free yogurt. This is dairy-free, obviously, it's oat milk. And uh, the Chobani brand dairy-free yogurt and the So Delicious Coconut Milk dairy-free yogurt. I mean, if you didn't tell me that it was dairy-free, I wouldn't know. It's that, it's that good. It's that good. So this, you know, if it's up to that standard, then sweet. But we're gonna see. We're gonna see. We're gonna see right now when we lick it. Well, not a good first impression. Might've wore the wrong color of a uh, jersey too because I might get it all over me. But I'm telling you what, that first lick, cause I mean, I always look forward to licking that little um, tin foil on the top. I don't think I just had any flavor on my mouth. There's, there's no flavor in here, none. Ew. Uh, ew. Nope. Hex no. Nope. Uh-uh. 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 Nope. 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 That gets a negative 16 out of 10. I would not give that to your dog or your worst enemy. The berry mixed one yeah that's what it says it says the berry mixed one trash sorry silk i'll still buy your milk though i mean legitimately oh i i always get your milk if a berry vanilla milk is not in the store some because sometimes it's not i just get the just normal vanilla milk but silk you do make good products i don't want you to think this is just all negative like you do this yogurt though hmm this is strawberry. This is strawberry. It says the strawberry one. We're gonna lick this foil. It's all my beard. Nah. Maybe it'll be better lotion than something to taste, man. I'm telling you what. Did am I like supposed to like stir this or something for the flavor? Trash. Can I give that one a negative 49 out of 10? They're both just bad. It has the consistency of yogurt, but it's a little runny. It's definitely runny. It's been in my refrigerator, so it's not like melting or anything like that. There's no flavor. I don't taste strawberry. I don't taste sweet, yogurty goodness. Like, it's just not good. They're just not good. They, they, I guess they tried. I guess they tried. But if you are in the store and you're like, man, I wonder if that oat milk yogurt, that oh yeah yogurt from Silk is any good? Nope. Nope, just keep on walking by it. Go buy the So Delicious brand or go buy the Chobani brand if you need dairy-free yogurt that tastes amazing, for real, so. Um, hope everybody enjoys the rest of Keeper TV. There's so much more in store, so. See ya. We're hungry. Play hungry, hungry hippos. Fun, fun, fun. Fun, fun, fun. They're hungry, hungry hippos. It's a wild, wild race. Feature hippos. Play. They're hungry, hungry hippos. It's hungry, hungry hippos. Whoever gobbles up the most marbles wins. You better eat fast, fast. Who won't last? They're hungry, hungry hippos. It's fun, fun, fun. Fun, fun, fun. They're hungry, hungry hippos. 
hungry hippo from Milton Bradley. It's the most lethal G.I. Joe team yet. Half comes Street Fighter 2. No way! Wait. There's Kyle, Ryu, Sangi, Walter, yeah. and Dalcine. What's the Dalcine? Oh, some with real ninja moves. Hey! But Cooper's got Street Fighters too. Vega, Sagat, Balrog. And me, Everson. They look unbeatable. God! You know them, you love them. So Corrupto! Have come Street Fighter 2 figures these sold separately. Oh, I like them. Got your credit card? Hey! It's Mall Madness. Sale at the show. The shop till you drop game that really talks. Sale at the fashion boutique. It's all the fun of a shopping spree. With Mall Madness, you get it all. A bank account and your own credit card. They're in at the sunglass boutique. Mall Madness really talks. To win, buy everything on your list and be first out of them all. I win! Attention, Mall Shop. Mall Madness, the electronic shopping game that really talks. From Milton Bradley. It's the mall with it all. Hey, give that back. Mouse trouble? Then you need Mouse Trap. Mouse Trap. I guarantee it's the craziest trap you'll ever see. The first to capture everyone else's mouse is the winner. Just turn the crank and snap the plank and boot the mob right down the chute. Now watch it roll and hit the pole. And knock the ball in the rubber up top, which puts the man into the fan. The trap is set. Here comes the net. Ouch! Mouse Trap. I guarantee it's the craziest trap you'll ever see. I win! I knew you were a winner. Mouse Trap from Milton Bradley. Is it me? Is it you? Who knows? Yes, it is. Does your person wear a hat? No. Does your person have a beard? Uh-huh. You're out of here. Does your person wear glasses? Yes. You're Sam. You win. Guess who? Game cards do not actually talk. Woo! Back at you with some more reviews here, folks. And today, a couple weeks ago, we uh, dabbled into the seasonal flavors of these Vortman's wafers. And I love Vortman's wafers, especially the dipped ones. Ooh! Those ones are just phenomenal. But these seasonal wafers are like intriguing. The hazelnut ones were just dandy. Not mind blowing, but they were just dandy. But these ones today might be mind blowing. I am I, I got high expectations and I don't even know why. We have chocolate mint flavor wafers from Vortman's. So hopefully these rock the heck out. I have already displayed my criticisms for Vortman's before. Like, your packaging essentially sucks because it requires you to then have to go to a Ziploc bag and put the rest of your wafers in there because there's just no real safe way. So please get a better way of um, packaging these and opening them up. And it's just, it'll be a cleaner and a better situation for us all so we don't we, we don't have to eat half of this sleeve it's just so we can wrap this little thing up and put a rubber band around it like please but keep making tasty and awesome smelling Ooh, I can smell this oh my gosh that chocolate smells so creamy oh uh, it's my name. Oh my. I, I sniffed it so <coughs> hard it went up my nose Anyways, <laughs> oh my gosh, there is chocolate, and then there's a layer of white. I don't know if like that's the mint or if this is vanilla. Like, what is that? What is that? Let's taste it. Okay, that mint kind of bites you. It's there, and then it gets you. Okay. Well, keep on going. Energize your body, baby. This is good. Okay. You know, this is solid as heck. It's perfect. No, mm. I'm going to stop myself because I'm going to keep on eating. I'm a, I'm a lover of mint and chocolate. If you don't like mint and chocolate, I mean, you shouldn't be buying these in the first place. But if you are a true lover of mint and chocolate, this is perfect because the, the chocolate's not overpowering, the mint's not overpowering, it meets right in the middle, and it's just, it is just great. I, I, I wonder what these taste like cold. I've never had cold wafers, but it just makes me wonder what it would taste like in the freezer and cold. Nevertheless, 
I'm going to give these a 10 out of 10. Like, these are really good. This is a perfect score. And, uh, and this is like going to be one of my favorite flavors to look forward to over the years. Definitely. Some Bortmans. Round of freaking applause. You did really good at capturing what chocolate mint should be like in, in the midst of a wafer. How you can improve these, though. Let me tell you this much. Put these in wrapped in chocolate. Wrap these in chocolate. And folks, if you have the abilities to melt some chocolate and dip these in chocolate and then, you know, wait till they um, get all hard and then eat them. Oh my gosh. These need to come out with the chocolate shell on them. They need it. Wartman's and it needs to be a year-round flavor. I'm telling you what. I'm sending you this video. I'm emailing you. Join me. Keep our good club nation. Let's get Wartman's on the track because... This is a good flavor, and it could be even better. It could be freaking phenomenal. So let's go. Let's go. But I hope you love this segment. Uh, we got some more. So stay tuned. I'll see ya. Pop in the pegs, follow the patterns, and create your favorite characters with Lightbright refills. And now you can mail in for a free refill when you buy specially marked boxes of Lightbright. Lightbright from Milton Bradley. Fellas, heard about this new game called Splat? Oh, I hate when that happens. Oh, we love it! Splat! Splat! Splat and Bugs is where it's at! Splat! That wasn't so bad. That was! The game Splat. You make bugs in the bug o -matic. Don't splat my bug! If you don't want your bugs to get splatted, you gotta be the first to get them to safety. Splat and Bugs is where it's at! Splat! Oh, I hate when that happens. Oh, we love it! Splat! From Milton Bradley. Watch out, you better react. Shark, 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 shark! I want to tell you about this game, Shark Attack. You try to get your little fishy friends to safety. You roll, move, roll, move. If your fishy's in the way, shark! You better watch out, you better react. Shark, shark, shark attack! A shark love a good fish dish. Shark Attack's got feet, it's got bite, it's got shark! Shark, shark, shark! There are lots of teddy bears, but only one Teddy Ruxpin. Hi, my name is Teddy Ruxpin. Can you and I be friends? Sure, Teddy. Your friend is what I'd like to He's be. He's alive. How did he do that? He's a magic bear. One day, we found an He's old treasure map. He's my magical bear, was to be my friend Teddy Ruxpin. Teddy Ruxpin, batteries not included. You think you can knock out these bricks? No problem! Without making the wall fall? Let's rock and roll! Grab a hammer, knock out those bricks! But you gotta be careful, you gotta be slick! Don't let the wall fall, that's what it's about! Knock out! It'll knock you out! Look out below! 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 Look Woo! What's up, folks? Back at you here on Kiefer TV. I clearly have a guest star in the so, house, Luke Rains. You'll probably know him if you're from this area or if you see any of my uh, social media. He's one of my clients. He's very incredibly hardworking, and he's going and he's a beast of a football player. But I needed his taste buds to help me with this cereal war, and I got three cereals here, all cold stone. We have. Cookie dough. We have birthday cake remix. And we have strawberry bologna. All of these are multi meal. They're from a bag. And uh, they smell really good. I can tell you that much. They oh, smell like strawberry. Oh, I thought it's so good. It's, it's crazy. But before we try the cereal out, we have a giveaway. We're going to be giving away. Something Cold Stone E. Cold Stone Protein. Let's totally block Luke out for this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Synthesis BSN Cold Stone Protein. This is what flavor? German chocolate cake flavor protein. How do you win this protein? You comment below and tell me why you should win. Very, very, very simple. You have to be subscribed to me comment below why you want to win this protein and somebody out there that's trying to get bigger trying to get stronger 
and take some tasty stuff in the midst of it, we'll win this. So do that right now. Now that you're back, let's try this cereal. We're going to try the birthday cake remix first. Take a look. All right. Sounds good. In this cereal war, we're gonna see who this champion is. And I must say, this is starting off pretty strong. What do you give this out of 10, Luke? Definitely not out of 10. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. I'm, I'm telling you, this is good. It's a real deal right here. It really is. I'm pretty sure Reese Ringer chose this cereal twice for all the turnover cereal. I remember this year, because he loved it. So this is good stuff. All right, we got a nine out of 10. Cause I'm gonna give it a nine out of 10 as well. It's really good. All right, the next one we're gonna try the, is the cookie dough flavor. Cookie dough, it actually says cookie donut. <laughs> wow. Cookie don't you want some. <laughs> they're, they're, <laughs> they're cereal puns. <laughs> yeah. I guess it smells okay. Oh, I smell like Mm mm. Mmm. Very bold flavor. I like the consistency of it. It's not too crunchy, it's not too soft. Definitely gotta eat it for a minute. You really do. Taste it. Yeah, it doesn't like slap you in the face with whatever the flavor is. I don't know if it actually tastes like cookie dough, though. I don't think it does. Uh -uh. Like, I don't know what it tastes like, but it doesn't taste like cookie dough. What do you give this out of 10? Seven and a half out of 10. Seven and a half. I would give this a uh, seven. So we're, we're right on the same wavelength right here. Because it doesn't really taste like cookie dough. It doesn't taste bad, but it doesn't, like, it's not as good as that first one. It's not winning this war, no way. So we got one more, one more. The one that we can smell from the moment we started making this video. Strawberry Blondie. Let's, uh, this one, it has like these Golden Graham-esque pieces and the little pink pieces and then the little marshmallows in there too. So uh, this one's already unique. So make sure you get all the little things in your spoon. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> this one's good. This one's really good. This is really good. Oh man. I think if y'all like strawberry milk, like strawberry nest quick, you would definitely love this. Definitely a little crunchy things in there, they get soft quick. Yeah. The little golden grand pieces, as normal. They are soft. Wow, yep. They're just like, it's just kind of like if you have Cinnamon Toast Crunch and you leave it in the milk, you gotta, you gotta eat those fast. What do you give this one out of 10? Nine. Oh, snap. So I think we have a tie. We do have a tie. Because I'll give it a nine out of 10 as well. Those little pink pieces, they taste like cotton candy. They do. They do. They really do. So since... We have a tie so far here in this cereal war. This is overtime. This is overtime. So we have to find a champion. We have to have a winner. So head to head right now. Let's uh, try the birthday cake again. And then we'll go. We'll come back to the strawberry blondie. Hmm. Definitely tastes a little different. Mm -hmm. I've just been sitting here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> But still crunchy. They're still crunchy. You can still taste those sprinkles. I know he doesn't remember this cereal, but there was a cereal way back in the day called Sprinkle Sprangle. I think that's what it was. It's like little stars. This tastes like that only in ball form. So I love this. All right. 
Now let's try the strawberry one again. Wow, well, he's over here demolishing these bowls. I'm hungry. Hungry growing boy. Because I have breakfast this morning. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right. Hmm. Must say those little strawberry pieces taste much different mm -hmm. when they're soggy. Hmm. I think I know what I'm going to pick. <laughs> I think definitely I'm... can't taste it all when that's soggy. Uh-uh. If I choose a champion, if I choose a winner with my older taste buds, I'm choosing the birthday cake remix. Oh my gosh! <laughs> and then the lights fall. <laughs> Is that a sign from God that uh, that's wrong? <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, I'm choosing birthday cake remix. What do you choose? I'm choosing birthday cake. Birthday cake remix. It maintained its flavor. It did. It, in there. it really did. With the consistency and everything. Like, it's just the most consistent one. You can't go wrong with a strawberry blondie. Just don't leave it sitting there in your milk for a long period of time. And the cookie dough one's just... It's okay, but I would. Have a cookie dough. Taste. No, no, I don't know what it. I don't know what the flavor is. Or something. Mm -hmm. if I can. If I have a sneeze. It's coming. Well, maybe if I look at the light, is that a thing? The light might fall on you. <laughs> That's true. Remember, y'all. Comment below. Win this protein. You can even win this protein too. If you really want it. I already got my comment picked out. Mm-hmm. So, hope y'all love this episode of Kiefer Cook TV. Join the Kiefer Cook Club down below, and maybe you'll be sitting next to me next. You'll never know, but you got to join the Kiefer Cook Club first to uh, realize that. Thank y'all, Ritman Boys, for this shirt. Um, and like and subscribe. Till the next one, peace.